Mike, do you want to start us off? Be ready. Ron, at this point, of course, just one preseason game left. Uh, where do you feel like you guys are at as a team? What's most important that still needs to come together uh, with Golden State, of course, looming for next week? Um, just continue to work on habits, continue to work on our system that Coach Hammond and Coach Stadler put together or uh, implemented since the first day of training camp. So I think we had some really good moments at times uh, you know, today. With, uh, I thought that late group um, executed exactly what we wanted to execute. And, did a great job of getting back into the game, and I thought at the start of the second half, we did a good job of uh, playing the type of basketball that we want to play. So um, we have another game on Friday, and we look forward to continuing to improve. Sounds like a way to see you with Lonnie with the ankle and how he's feeling, but just wanted to know what you thought of him and that group uh, alongside Beverly and, and how that group has to play uh, with 80 at the 5 and a little bit of the smaller look. Well, obviously, we've had different lineups and different looks um, throughout the preseason. Um, and tonight was another <clears throat> opportunity to see what that lineup looked like. Um, I thought it was, Look pretty good. I thought we were um, you know, really good at times. Um, you know, can get stagnant at times, but I thought for the most part we had that ball movement. We just couldn't make any shots. You know, but I thought uh, Lonnie was uh, really, really good. Very explosive from the start of the game. Got to the rim. Got an and one. I thought uh, he was really good in, in the minutes that he had before the, uh, the roll for the ankle. Thanks. Um, you said mentioned that. Uh, you mentioned uh, building habits defensively. What are the things that you've seen that have worked? Um, and uh, obviously, terminology and those things, having the same coach the last several years. Uh, Darby mentioned that AD's been asking all the right questions, uh, but there is a learning curve there. So what have you seen out of him being the anchor uh, in the unit defensively? Um, I mean, I think it starts with the point of attack, though. You know, I think AD is going to do what AD does. He's going to block shots. He's going to defensive rebound. He's going to change shots. Um, but defense starts with the point of attack. It starts with the guy that's guarding the ball. And then we're all on the string. You know, and it's communication, constant communication. We all got to be on the string and helping, uh, you know, the guy that's on the ball, but also, you know, the guy that's off the ball as well. Um, the guy that's guarding the pick and roll because it's a pick and roll league. Um, and then, you know, at the end of the day, when we, if we have a great defensive stand, we have to finish it off with a defensive rebound. Um, so, um, AD is always going to be up there and one of the best defenders in our league. Um, but it starts with just communication behind um, of whoever's going to ball in the point of attack. LeBron, LeBron, so there's, it's a little harder to evaluate when you're not hitting three pointers uh, like you guys were tonight. But um, was there anything that you, you liked about you know these three guard, four guard lineups that Darwin was kind of thrown out and, and seen <coughs> mixed? No, I love the shots that we got. The quality of shots that we got was amazing. We literally missed a lot of wide open shots, and that's okay. You know, it's about how we work and the habits, how we're sharing the ball offensively. If we get the ball moving from side to side, and everybody felt in a good rhythm. So um, I didn't feel like any. Not even <coughs> worth the out of the but the 38 that we took were like forced threes. Um, they were all off drive and kick, off uh, penetration, hitting the pocket, you know, finding guys weak side, and you know, it just didn't go, which is fine. LeBron, you've done this 20 times now in terms of preseason. Is, is that, at this time of year, is that more important than shooting percentages and stuff like that? I think you guys are right around 30% from <coughs> in the preseason and had, obviously, the really good game in, in Golden State where everybody shot it well. But is, is it the looks have been good enough that maybe people should pay more attention to that than the, the percentages? Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Really. So we don't care what people pay attention to. We, we know what we want to accomplish on a game-to-game -game basis. And uh, at the end of the day, I mean, you're going to have games where you make, you're going to have games where you don't make, and you got great looks. But the most important is how we, our effort, um, and, and how we defend. You know, and if we defend, we're going to give ourselves a good chance to win um, every single night, no matter if the ball is going in or not. Uh, Le LeBron, sorry, I'm collecting my <laughs> throat here. Uh, the, you guys have talked about at different points in the preseason uh, about having more urgency and, and kind of looking at last preseason and how that went and how that translated into the beginning of the regular season. Do you feel like you've seen that from the group and, and have you been encouraged with just the approach overall during training camp in the preseason and, and the urgency that you've seen overall? Yeah, I think I like the way we've been playing. Um, you know, not only in practices, um, but in the film session, how we've been you know, calculating things, seeing the things that we need to do. Um, how we want to play and then take it to the game floor. So um, I like where we are. 
Yeah, hey LeBron. I'm um, just wondering what it was like to be back out there with Dennis and how do you how you thought he played tonight? Uh, it was just a great to have him back. Uh, I thought he had a hell of a summer. You know, in Euro basketball, he was you know, amazing throughout the whole summer. Uh, made first team, you know, um, all Euro. Um, that was, and he played exceptional basketball from all three levels, finishing at the rim, shooting the three, uh, near range, and also was, uh, I think he averaged like six and a half, seven assists per game as well. Um, so, you know, it's it good to see the way he performed and tonight. Um, I don't really, I don't care about the misses and the makes. We just want to get caught up to speed on what we've been doing. Um, you know, because he's, he's played enough basketball, so we know he'll be all right. Any more questions for LJ? Um, wanted to ask you about, um, you know, today rebounding numbers wise. You and AD had double digit rebounds. You guys tied in rebounds today. How important is that, you know, for you guys in this group? Out of so many guards, you know, you leading the pack with the rebounds, you and A. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we're going to have opportunities, and coach is going to put lineups out there where it's smaller. And, uh, you know, the only way that we can gain trust in the coaching staff that we can play smaller and faster is for us to rebound. And that's always the, the, the conversation. Okay, if we're going to play a little bit quicker, we're going to be a little bit smaller, we got to rebound and we got to clean glass. So um, it's very important for uh, <clears throat> myself and AD. And obviously, Russ has always been a great uh, rebound at the guard position. Pat has always been a great uh, guard at the, uh, a great rebound at the guard position. So that is our job. Our, our job is to clean glass if we're going to play small at times. Appreciate it.